Okay, so this is the Kulux uh, Q6, and I hate this goddamn touch interface. There's no tactical buttons, tactile buttons at all. So I'm just going to run through a slideshow just to give you an idea of the, the brightness and resolution. Uh, this is, I believe, WVGA at uh, 854 by um, 480, I believe. I'll, I'll, it's worth double-checking. So I, I think the picture, the resolution looks great. Uh, even though it's technically pretty low in resolution, uh, the color balance looks decent, the, the resolution looks decent. Um, so I got no problems with it. It's somewhat bright. They advertise that it does 120 to 140 uh, lumens, but relative to the, the off-brand um, ApeTech one and the K or P300 by AXA, uh, it seems relatively dark. Uh, that's just a subjective opinion, but, um, all right, so I'm going to pause this and jump over to, uh, the P300 with the same images for a comparison. Okay, continuing with the AXA P300, uh, I've taken the memory card over, and so I'm going to play the same images, so hopefully it'll give it a little bit more fair of a comparison. Uh, just as a note, this is not plugged in, so it's operating at some level of reduced uh, brightness. Uh, and there are probably compensating algorithms in the camera. Um, so I'm hoping this gives some meaningful comparison, but I'm, I'm not sure. Subjectively, I see a little bit more of the noise in the JPEG um, artifacts. I don't know if that's because it's brighter. Um, but this is supposed to have a higher resolution. Uh, I believe a 1200 uh, by 800 native uh, resolution. I don't know if you can see this in the um, video, but I'm seeing a background circuit board traces uh, that I didn't notice on the projection of the uh, uh, of the um, Kulux Q6. Well, I didn't even notice it in, in either of those. In fairness, some of these images are pretty low resolution, uh, so this probably isn't a very fair comparison.